Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question I got from one of my subscribers and here is a problem. Consider a dehybrid inheritance and suppose a heterozygous round yellow pea plant which is heterozygous for the gene R and Y genotype is self crossed with the same genotype and produce 364 seeds. How many seeds are expected to be round and yellow? This is classical example of the Mendelian dehybrid cross. So I'm going to use this table, which you can find in any textbooks on genetics. And here, what we have, we have one parent that is dehybrid, meaning heterozygous for each gene, gene Y and gene R, and other parent is also dehybrid or heterozygous for both genes Y and R. And we say that this is selfing. So two genotypes uh, which are the same, we cross with each other. One would be of course male, another would be female. Both parents are diploid, but they produce haploid gametes. For example, parent one can produce following gametes, capital Y and capital R, this variant here, another variant would be capital Y and small r, this variant here, small y and capital R, this variant here, and small y and small r, this variant here. Because parents has the same genotype, second parent also would produce the same variants of the gametes. One more time, gametes are haploid and what we see here is F1 generation. This is what we call F1 generation. Of course, F1 generation is going to be diploid when two gametes would join and would form diploid organism, diploid progeny. For example, capital Y, capital Y here. So we have two capital Ys here, capital R, capital R, we have two capital Rs here. And of course, phenotypically, this is going to be yellow P, which is going to be round. But here we have small y, small y, two recessive alleles that specify color because these two recessive alleles color is going to be green. And because here we have two recessive allele which specify whether it's going to be round or wrinkled, this uh, is going to be wrinkled. And here's the ratio. For example, in the progeny we have nine, which is going to be round and yellow. And let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine out of 16. So four by four would give us 16. Nine plus three plus three plus one would give us 16. So out of 16, nine are going to be round and yellow. And this is question of our problem. This cross would produce 364 seeds. How many seeds are expected to be round and yellow? So what we have to do, we just have to multiply 364 by 9 sixteenths. And this would equal to 364 times 9 divided by 16 would give us 204.75, we can round to 205. And this is going to be our answer. One more time, out of 364 seats, we expect about 205 seats to be round and yellow. But do please understand that this is not exact number. This is just approximation. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.